Hi guys, I'm back with a tutorial. I had a few people ask me how I did my double arm breakup and I do mean a few. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through this really quick. Um, you'll see in the top left corner, I already have my cup that has been glittered white on top and rose gold on bottom all the way around the cup and as one layer of epoxy over that. I didn't worry about it being smooth at all since glitter is gonna go over the top of it again. So the cup is ready to go. I'm working with some really cheap shelf liner adhesive vinyl I found at Dollar General. It comes in a big old roll, it's cheap, and I love working with this for peekaboos because it isn't permanent, it peels off real easy, and it doesn't leave any residue at all on my cups. I feel like no matter how long I leave it on there, it doesn't leave any residue like a like a cup vinyl, vinyl or or coal or permanent vinyl would. The next step is going to be wrapping the cup in the vinyl. I have measured the circumference of the cup. I've measured the height of the cup. I've taken those measurements, put them into my silhouette program, created a rectangle, and then I added 10 strips into that rectangle. So you want an even number when you do these so every other strip can be removed. The first time I cut it out, I did 11. I made a mistake. So actually what you're seeing here is my second time <laughs> wrapping this cup in vinyl. So I have 10 vertical stripes cut into my vinyl. So I'm going to go ahead and attach one side to the cup. And then I'll begin to remove the parchment paper from behind the vinyl. And making sure that the vinyl sticks to the cup. Now, while this shelf liner vinyl doesn't leave any residue um it does remove from the cup easily so you have to really make sure that it sticks to the cup and that does make removing my transfer tape a little bit more difficult um i just have to go slower it's worth it to me for my vinyl not to leave any residue behind so this part is slow, another slow process here. But um, then once all the vinyl is attached to the cup, I'll begin to remove my transfer tape. So I'll go ahead and roll it and make sure that the vinyl is uh, adhered to the cup. And you'll see that on the bottom of the cup, I made my strips a little bit longer. Um, I wanted to make sure that it was actually wrapped around the bottom of the cup. So I removed one strip, but I'll go ahead and start laying down um, as the best of my ability around the um, curved parts of the bottom of the cup. And then here is the pie. Um, I'm gonna call this the pie. It is a circle, but it looks like a pie. Uh, I measured the diameter of the bottom of my cup, came up with the radius, which is the half point, and I put my pie pieces in. It's 10 pieces. Um, the top of the pie is the width of my strips and then they all just meet in the middle of my circle, my pie, as I'm gonna call it. So I took out one piece of the pie and I'm gonna match that up with the strip that I took out, the vertical strip that was on the side of the cup. And that's how I make sure that my, my pie pieces match up with my vertical strips on the side of my cup. Very carefully remove my transfer tape and then I'll go ahead and start removing the every other strip. And those are what are going to get painted and glittered. The pieces that I'm removing. And you are able to see that when I remove the vertical strip, it takes off its corresponding piece of pie on the bottom of the cup. And here I'm just readjusting a little bit the pieces of pie on the bottom. 
And then once you get all of that perfected, you'll take it out and you will spray paint over all of this. I'll show a picture. Here it is. It's satin vintage blush. That's the corresponding spray paint that I use. The bottom is just a matte white. I use Rust-Oleum. So once it has been painted, I put a very thin layer of epoxy over everything. And while it's wet, I'm going to go ahead and do my ombre with my white glitter and my rose gold glitter. Um, those black specks that you see, that's just hot glue I stuck on the vinyl in case I lost them. I never lost them. I didn't really need to do that part, but I just wanted to make sure that my vinyl wouldn't get lost on where I should um, be removing the vinyl. So I'll go ahead and do my final ombre glitters. And then as soon as uh, my glitter is laid down, my epoxy is still wet and I'm able to remove my vinyl. And once again, that strip pulls off its corresponding pie piece on the bottom of the cup. So this shelf liner vinyl removes so easy. And as I'm removing it, I'm able to see that the lines are clean, they're crisp. Um, I didn't know for sure if I would have to lay down a piece of vinyl to hide those lines. But in this moment, as I'm looking at it, I realized, nope, you know what? It looks good. And I don't gotta lay vinyl down. There's a peek at the bottom of the cup. But there it is. I love using epoxy for my peekaboos. Um, I just feel like it's, it adheres better. I don't use Mod Podge. I don't use spray adhesive. Um, I do a thin layer of epoxy. And before it even begins to cure, I've already removed the vinyl. And then I move on to my floral piece that I used. So my underlying part was white. And then I'm going to be putting a holographic rose gold vinyl over the top of that. I have my parchment paper down on top of my white so I don't stick anything together until I know that these are perfectly lined up. This little light shadow box I bought it really cheap off of Amazon, probably like 15 bucks. But it's really helped me because for some reason somebody put white vinyl on top of white backing. So anytime I'm using white vinyl and I'm layering, I have to get that white light out. It helps me see where the white vinyl is. And then once I've attached it, I'm going to go ahead and remove the parchment paper from the back. And slowly and carefully lay down the rose gold onto the white, making sure there's no bubbles. You'll see my cup up, tiny bit of my cup up there in the top left corner again. That cup has two layers of epoxy on it. It's been epoxy till smooth. I have sanded it. I have um, sanded the rim of the cup. So all it needs is this floral piece. This holographic vinyl will show any bumps. If your cup isn't smooth, it'll show through. I'm speaking from experience, unfortunately. And so the cup is smooth. Then we're going to apply this big vinyl piece on top. I'm making sure I know where I want it, where it looks nice. And I'm already loving the cup. I'm honestly, when I did pull off that vinyl off of my second layer of glitter, I knew already. I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. she's going to love this one because I loved it and I wanted to keep it. But it was already paid for, so um, I moved on. I fixed my broken heart. Okay. Laying the vinyl down, making sure it's adhered really good. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the transfer tape from this. Um, after the vinyl has been laid, I'm going to go ahead and do two more, two more coats of epoxy, possibly three. Don't quote me on that. Two or three until it's smooth, until it's perfect. I just really love the bottom of the cup where it just, the stripes go all the way around. I'll go ahead and try to find the link to the rose gold holographic vinyl. I'm pretty sure I got a roll of it off of Amazon. 
and I'll put that in the description below. And I'm admiring it here. I've stayed away from my YouTube videos. I'm used to doing quick process videos on my TikTok now. Just really quick putting them out there for everybody to see that I stayed away from YouTube. I really stayed away from voiceovers because doing these kind of suck, you guys. I've started and stopped this 50 million times already. <laughs> but there she is. And then here she is with her two more layers of epoxy over here. She's good. She's clean. She's ready to go. The client already has her and loves her. So try one, you guys. Try double home breakup. See what you come up with. And um, maybe in a uh, couple months, I'll be back with another tutorial. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all.